It is such a joy to have you join us again on the Methodist Connection. Half an hour of hymns and songs and the stories behind them. We are very grateful for your company and thank you for your continued interest and support, especially during the month of May when we celebrate our Methodist heritage. Let us pray. Almighty God, we have come this far by faith and we praise and glorify you for your guidance and direction over these many years. We thank you for those who continue to spread your word in order to draw more persons to you. And we pray that we will always remember that this is our mission. Bless this time that we will spend together and allow hearts to be drawn to you through the music we will present. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. We start today's program with All Praise to Our Redeeming Lord, written by Charles Wesley and is numbered 402 in VIP. Listen to verse 6 as we remember our heritage, starting with the British Methodist Church to our own MCCA, and look forward to that glorious day when we can experience our common fellowship. And if our fellowship below in Jesus be so sweet, what heights of rapture shall we know when round his throne we meet? Him, Methodism in Action, was written by a Trinidadian-born teacher, local preacher and hymn writer, Pearl Yvonne Mulrain. It suggests that the mission that needs to be accomplished is the joint responsibility of youth as well as more mature believers in Christ. Scripturally focused, it is noticeable that it derives inspiration from the letter in the book of Revelation to the Laodicean Church warning against lukewarmness. There is also an Aldersgate thrust with reference to Methodism's founder, John Wesley, who at his conversion felt his heart strangely warmed. This hymn urges us in the 21st century to continue the mission of God in Christ as empowered by the Holy Spirit. Let us hear it now. Amen. Okay. 
Let us now turn to number 228 in Voices in Praise, to the hymn, My God, I Know I Feel Thee Mine, words by Charles Wesley and tuned by Samuel Stanley. We already know a lot about Charles Wesley, but not enough about Samuel Stanley, other than they wrote several hymns together, including O Thou Who Camest From Above. As we sing along with this hymn, let us dedicate ourselves afresh to God's purpose for our lives.
We move to VIP 411 and listen to Lord Make Us One. Very little is known about the origin of this hymn. The words written by Aloysius Church and the music by our own renowned Noel Dexter of University Singers fame, who became organist of the Port Antonia Methodist Church while he was still a teenager. It really doesn't matter who wrote it. What matters is its message of unity and commitment to each other, not just individually, but collectively. Let us listen to Lord Make Us One. As we continue to reflect on our Methodist heritage, we listen to O oh God Our Help in Ages Past, which is numbered 527 in VIP. The words were penned by Isaac Watts and the music by William Croft, and it is a hymn of reflection and gratitude for how God has led and inspired us throughout the years. Let us not forget God's providence in the past as we look forward to the future with hope and faith. I know you know this hymn, so please sing along wherever you are.
him today is great God of wonders. No commemoration of our Methodist heritage would be complete without mention of the inimitable Reverend Dr. Claude Langton Cadogan, who was the second president of the MCCA in 1972, succeeding Reverend Hugh B. Sherlock, who served from 1967 to 1972. He was a faithful viewer of the Methodist Connection and was not shy in expressing his views on it. Great God of Wonders numbered 194 in the VIP was a special hymn to him and we now invite you to listen to it as we remember Uncle Claude. Thank you. 
so much for joining me on the Methodist Connection. I am Marie Miller, inviting you to join us next week at the same time on this same station for the Methodist Connection. You may write to us or email us with your comments or suggestions for hymns that you would like the choirs to sing at Jamaica Methodist Link, 143 Conson Spring Road, Kingston 8. The email address is mainoffice at jamaicamethodist.org. You may also send us WhatsApp messages and voice calls at 876-445-5713 or 876-925-6768. Do continue to support us by joining us each week in viewing these programs and experience God's blessing through song. We invite you too to make your love gifts for the upkeep of this ministry. Please make checks payable to the Jamaica Methodist link or use one of the contacts on your screen to arrange for electronic transfer or deposits. Have a blessed evening. The peace of Christ be with you now and always. Amen.